morning. Good morning. How y'all doing? Hey. Hey. life-changing word today. Thank you, Lord. Father, we just thank you, thank you Lord. for every individual that is in this house this morning. Those thank that Lord. on the airways, Father, we just thank you right thank now you, for them. We thank you that, that you are touching lives thank as we Lord. speak. Father, we open up our mouth this morning. Situations are changing. I declare and decree that your word will be life and change in situations. As we open up and praise God this morning, Father, I just thank you for the heart of the choir, Father. I thank you for the songs that are about to come forth. Life changing songs, songs of your son, Jesus Christ, and his finished work, Father. Father, we thank you once again that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Yes, Father, we enter your house with thanksgiving. Knowing that we already have the victory, not looking forward. Yes, yes, yes. So, Father, Hallelujah. As they minister, as they minister with songs today, Father, doors are opening up. People are walking out of hospital beds this morning. Families are being made whole this morning. Those who are hopeless have found hope this morning. God declared the creed that it is so in the name that is above every name, and that is the name of Jesus. So all who touch the beating with that simply say with me, Amen. 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 Welcome to the baby. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good and his mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, oh. 
Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord. I did not get what I deserved. Who is thankful this morning that they did not get what they deserved this morning? Father, we just want to thank you. Thank you for your grace, your unmerited favor in our life. We didn't even have to earn it, Lord. Thank you. This is the moment where we touch in agreement with you and what you believe in God for this morning. Anyone want to come forward? Bow. Every circumstance bow. 
whether they're in heaven, on earth, or under earth, it got to bow to the name of Jesus. So we thank you in his name for all of these things. And if you want to touch in agreement with that, simply say with me, Amen, 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 amen. and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
this morning is going to come uh, to us is brought to you by uh, Sister Glow Love. Come on, put your hand together. She, she was waiting on me to announce her so she could do a grand entrance. <laughs> now, listen, listen, y- y'all already know that uh, this is uh, this is a miracle. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of love. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm going I'm to. Uh, you want me to thank you? No, you, you, you're a big girl. It's only about a million people watching on Facebook. I know I'm going to talk about that. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I'm here, as Bishop said, to speak on um, Black History. And this morning I'm going to be speaking on um, this young lady. Uh, her name is uh, Sydney Barber. She's the first black female Rakei commander at the Naval Academy, and she leads with passion. Okay. Senior class, Naval Academy, midshipman. First class, Sydney Barber is a mechanical engineering major at the campus of um, Annapolis, Annapolis, Maryland, and will be a second Lieutenant Marine Corps ground officer when she graduated this spring, which was in 21. <clears throat> She's on the women's varsity track and field team, co president of the Fellowship of Christian Athlete Club and Secretary of the National Society and Black Engineers. She also sings with the Academy Gospel Choir and is a member of the Midshipman Black Studies Club. In addition, she's uh, initiated a STEM outreach program for mentoring middle school girls of color in science, technology, engineering, and math. If that's not enough, Barbara Moss, all inspiring position is as Academy First Black Female Brigade Commander this spring semester in the Academy of 100 and in the Academy 175th year history women's work only first accepted into the class of 1980 and she is the 16th woman selected for a brigade commander since that time. 
She beats out 30 competitors for the top leadership position. And this is her quote. What we do is out of an act of love. Out of love, we make sacrifices. And love is proven by action. Hailing from Lake Forest, Illinois, Barbara, 21, is known as the sixth striker at the Academy. She says, at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Foundation in Sydney Valley, California, that she is the highest leadership position within the arcade of more than 4,000. And she has a staff of 30 people. As for Katie, commander, Robert finds solutions to the issue that, that um, exit. Robert finds solutions to two issues that exit in the brocade and present them to the academy commander at the end of the day. Among her many other duties, she says, my job is to build a team. The team has to trust you, respect you, and know their voices are heard. They must feel critical to the mission, and you must touch the hearts of the people you lead. Barbara says she never pictured herself as brigade commander. I looked up strong female leadership and had lots of role models. A year ago, someone said to her, uh, someone said they, they could see her as battalion commander. So I took on leadership roles, performed community service, and joined service clubs. I threw my name in the hat to maximize my potentials as much as possible. Her effort had to do with becoming the best version of herself, she says. A self-described introvert, Barbara said she did not She's not used to, the, to being under the spotlight that shines on her, that shines on her since her appointment. But she came to embrace the idea that another opportunity might not exist for someone else who looks like her. Robert says she feels blessed to be Barcade Commander at the Academy and her approach comprises her life, life long faith, heart, and passion. Service came, became her passion, whether serving her community or working in a soup kitchen. And she also said that, I pursue things that light fire in my heart. She left her comfortable suburban life as a teen to do humanitarian work in Chicago the uh, Dominican Republic in India, among other places. It opened my eyes, she says, of working in the Dominican Republic. I grew up in privilege and affluence. I saw people in living in metal sheds and making it from one meal to the next. There is much more to life than material, materialism. And it is made, it, and it made me grateful for all I had. I want to pour that back into the world. The Naval Academy, she noted, was the perfect place for her to do that. And she pursued three things in her life, heart, purpose, and legacy. There's no greater service or expression of love than someone who's willing to lay down their life for their community, for their country. Barbara offered, what we do is out of an act of love, out of love you make sacrifices, and love is proven by action. Everyone wants to have purpose, but words are meaningless unless you pursue the action. Not only in this generation, but especially in 10, 20, 30 years from now. When she think about the life she wants her to be, Barbara wants to continue, confidently say she emptied the tank and did all she could with her humanitarian passion. 
I pursue things that light fire in my heart and diversity and inclusion. How do you impact a large sector of people? In a Marine Corps career, leading with hearts can be unconventional, but um, empathy, fostering trust, sharing your story, and embracing one, someone. Some, uh, embracing someone else, cultivate the passion of others, she says. And she says, being a leader throughout her career is vital and the legacy she hopes to leave. And as I was reading this, y'all, of course I'm nervous. So, um, I was very so touched by this as I read this. And I thought about the father and uh, how he laid down his life for us, you know. And um, you know, it's just like God. You know, uh, he laid down his life for us that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Right. And he gave his only begotten son yes. that, uh, well, yeah. that he loved us. Amen. You know, Amen. that's what we must show, more love. And what the world needs now is more love. Amen. More love. Amen. 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 Yo, come on, give it up for a second. You know, love is what love does, right? So, love got up. Love made this presentation for us. Amen. So, as I said to uh, Sister Glow in the back, um, there's so much history that, of course, four, four weeks won't do it. Uh, and it, it, it makes good sense for us to delve into uh, this as much as we possibly can yeah. and inform my kids and my grandkids uh, about the contributions that we have made as a race of people amen. to this nation and not just this nation but around the world. Mm -hmm. right. Amen. amen. Uh, and when you ever hear somebody say, I say is that the real McCoy? Uh -huh. That came from us too. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. that, that <laughs> everything, yeah. everything just about amen. amen. How many of y'all ready for the word? Amen. amen. Praise God. I'm I'm excited about uh, the opportunity to hear the word this morning. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit back and I got my pen and paper ready. Uh, gonna take good notes. Uh, so I, I I implore you to do the same. Uh, Y'all ready? Amen. Come on, put your hands together for the man of God as he comes. My check. All right. Come on, come on. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. How are y'all doing out there? Right. All right. Welcome to Spirit and Truth. And know that you are history. Amen. Amen. We are history. Right. Yeah. We are God's history. Mm -hmm. We are God's people. Yeah. We are chosen. That's right. And it's just a month that they chose to recognize that. But they still didn't call you Hebrew. They still didn't call you Judah. Yeah. We are God's people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Father, thank you for everyone in here this morning. Thank you, Father. Father, I thank you for the simplicity of the word that is going to come forth. Yes, Father. Father, I thank you that it's filled with revelation, knowledge, and understanding. Father, I thank you that it's seed and water and growth is occurring in each of our lives. Father, I thank you this word is planted in our blood and is passed down from generation to generation. Father, we thank you right now for all of these things in Jesus' name. Yes, amen, 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 and amen. 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 <laughs> for those who don't know me, my name is Andre Love. I am your minister this morning, and I'm excited amen. that God chose me to stand before you. Amen. 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 So, what we're going to do this morning is something different for me. Because I usually don't read a lot of scriptures. Okay. So when God kind of changed, I was going to finish my Bible study message and change that. 
So what we're going to do, we're still going to read, I'm going to read from uh, Maccabees chapter 1 to you, okay? I'm also going to give you some definitions of some things. I want you to write these definitions down mm -hmm. when I start giving them out. But we need to understand that there is a system. And if you don't realize that there is a system, then you're walking in blindness. And then light is exposing the system. Yeah. And when you operate in a system, in a system, and you don't agree with everything that's happening in the system, the system will expose you. We see it now in news. They learned the system. They didn't go into their position with that knowledge. That knowledge was taught to them. In order to succeed, and be successful in that system for such a long time. Someone had to show you how to maneuver mm -hmm. in that right. system. Yeah. I don't know what happened in the system that caused the exposure, but the system was taught to me by someone. And it is that same system that's been taking over the world and a lot of us are stuck is when the system is going to change. God wants you to come unstuck. And to get out of that mindset of worrying about the system. So I want you to understand the title of this message is Their System, God Prophecy, and Our Future in Him. That's the title of this message. Their System. God prophecy and our future in Him. I'm going to give you a couple of words I want you to write down the definition of. It is um, tributaries. And that means a ruler or state that pays to a that pays tribute to a conqueror. A ruler or state that pays tribute to a conqueror. And I want you to hold on to this. Because when you hear this in scripture, you'll understand why I gave you these definitions. It also means paying tribute to another to acknowledge submission. To obtain protection. Or to purchase Peace. Another word I want you to write down is Antios. A N T I O C H U S. Antios. A N T I O C H U S. The noun for Antios means a Caesarean king, a place in Syria. The adverb for Antios. Well, I really want you to focus. Well, you need both of them. Means driven again. And when I read that, the Holy Spirit downloaded me. Driven against what? Our God, our belief system, and identity. Antioch. And further. And this came out of the Strong Bible. So this definition I'm giving you now came out of the Strong Bible. It says, many Greek dead Jews. I mean, they were, they were one. Had a dash. Many Greek dead Jews, not slaves. Many Greek dead Jews live there. It's a lot of Jews. God chose the people. Living in their system. And we're living in it today. Their system. And I want you to know God has a system. And do not want us to be distracted by their system. Mm -hmm. When I get to there today, you should no longer be distracted by what you see, what you hear. Because the media, where it's social media, where it's moving media, 
whether it's music, media, all of these are their platforms. That's right. Preach now. That's right. You better preach. These are their media. Their media was always meant to take over the world. We're yeah. going to hear it. Their media was always meant to take over the world for salvation's sake and for this dispensation. Let me go on and say this abroad. There's neither he, Greek, nor Jew in the body of Christ. That's right. All right? We're in a dispensation where Gentiles have been engrafted into the body of Christ. That's right. right. And we thought we, at one point we were the one that was engrafted, but uh -huh. we're not. Amen. We're Jews. Okay? So I want to put that abroad. But I want you to understand that a system attacks all believers. Mm -hmm. And it would and it and it would like to keep you if you receive Christ in a state of carnality. Uh-huh. So your life never reflects him who saved us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you never live a life of the one. Who represented us right. when we couldn't represent ourselves? Right. Right. And their system always intended to keep us in this place. Mm -hmm. You will hear it in a second. So when you hear this message, but understand that it attacks all believers, but it's personally attacked a bloodline. Amen. Wow. Amen. A person attack a certain group of people. Uh huh. Not only that, it attacked the bloodline that Christ had come through. Mm -hmm. That's why it's important that you need to understand that we're in a state of prophecy. When Bishop started teaching on that. They, that the Lord was calling every nation and their armies to the land of Jehoshaphat, calling. They already talking to the, to the Father. They don't want to let you go. Mm -hmm. They don't want to let us go. Mm -hmm. Think about it. If they wanted to let us go, then why are they building? Well, let me say that. Move to it. If they weren't having communication, why are they building aircraft and building space stations? Come on. Uh, Come on. Uh, uh, Come on. Man. They already got all the means and the billions. Yeah. Yeah. Why are they trying to leave a land or a planet where they own all, already own all the resources? Yeah. Own everything. Uh, wow. Y'all better open up your eyes today. Yeah. They already in communication. Yeah. Why do you think they built CERN? In Switzerland, that goes around the whole city. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on now. I mean, couldn't I build something <laughs> the size of this room at least to open up a portal? This why I got to open up a portal. Come on now. The size of a city. <laughs> Come on, with you. <laughs> you better help us. These people are already in communication. Yeah. It is us that are left in the blind. But well, you got light today. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes. They're already communicating with the ball. Why? Why do you think they say, well, go back. But telling him, I'm not I'm never gonna let them go. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because you're valuable. Mm -hmm. And when we understand how valuable we are, Lord, I ain't got this message. When we understand how valuable we are, we'll work within the system and not for the system. Exactly. You'll start owning your businesses. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When I go to work, I work for Christ at Art of Kung Fu. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. See, all the Kung Fu is going to get a representative of Jesus Christ while I'm there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't work for them. Mm -hmm. You 
got to choose who you're going to work for. If you're going to work in this system or for this, well, we're going to work for this system. That's right. We're going to work in their system. Yeah, yeah. Mm, that's good. That's good. But we also know in Antioch, many Greek death, uh, Jews lived there, and it was here that the followers of Christ were first called Christians. So just right. remember that. Mm -hmm. But a system was always meant to keep us in a place of impoverishment. Mm -hmm. Impoverishment. Mm -hmm. Impoverishment. Mm -hmm. When the Lord got that in my spirit. Excuse me. So let me go and look that up. What do you mean? It was always meant to keep us in a place of impoverishment. Mm -hmm. To make poor. Mm -hmm. See, when you be made poor, which is still their system. You will do anything to buy into the other system. That's right. Mm -hmm. You will sign contracts to buy into the other system. Mm -hmm. You will exchange your guilt between man and woman to your guilt between same sex mm -hmm. to get into the system. Mm -hmm. You better preach. Mm -hmm. You better preach. Because you got a poverty state of mind. Mm -hmm. And you chase the bag. That's right. Mm -hmm. And they put the bag on TV. Mm -hmm. The contracts mm -hmm. of the sports. Mm -hmm. The contracts of the musicians. Mm -hmm. The contracts of the actors. Mm -hmm. They put this bag on your TV. And you know you gotta have TV. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> they put this bag for us to chase, but they didn't tell you what comes with the sacrifice. Mm -hmm. That's what happens when you chase the bag. Well, God got a plan for us. Mm -hmm. God has a future for us. That's the main purpose I wore this shirt today. I wasn't going to dress, dress the casual for y'all. <laughs> Grace over grind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's bag over grace. Mm -hmm. For most believers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We, just like the Jesus. Mm -hmm. we got to stop. Mm -hmm. It's that poverty state of mind. Have us believe that we got to chase the baby. Mm. To deprive of strength, you will hear that your identity has been taken. Mm -hmm. We are the only people out of Israel, which is Judah, who don't know their identity as a whole. Amen. You got to preach. I got to take your strength, Judah. I got to know that you don't. I can't let you know that Christ came through your bloodline. That's right. Mm -hmm. I can't let you know that you sung song, you were still spiritual without a book. Mm -hmm. Lord, have mercy. Uh huh. Oh, well, y'all gonna hear it. Deprived of strength, of riches, to put you in a place of poverty, or fertility by depleting. We eat the lowest grade foods. They are filled with estrogen. So men are impotent. Suffer from ED. I can't produce them. I shut down, shut them down. <coughs> Through my system. No. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Draining of something essential. Lord have mercy. Let me get into this word. I'm going to have to read. I'm going to read from Maccabee. And then I'm going to go to write this scripture down. So you can study it if you don't. I'm going to get to it. I'm going to try my best to get to it. So I'm going to read Maccabees chapter 1. Okay. 
You don't have that. Is that M I C H E? No. Maccabees. M A C C A B E E S. M A C C A B E E S. Chapter one. That's what I'm gonna read. All right. What I'm going to read next after that is going to be from the Message Bible. And I'm going to do a lot of reading, and I'm only going to stop because these scriptures should minister to you, and you need to study them for yourself. First Peter chapter 1, First, first Peter 1 chapter 1, 1 through 25, read it all. From the Message Bible, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 10 through 17. Okay, let's get this started. And it reads, Maccabees, after defeating King, after defeating Darius, king of the Persians, and Medes, Alexander, son of Philip, the Macedonian, who came from the land of Kittim, succeeded him as king. He had previously ascended to the throne of Greece. He fought many battles, conquered strongholds, and assassinated the earth king. Talking about his sister. That being set up. He traveled to the farthest reaches of the globe, plundering many nations. He was exalted and his heart was lifted up when the earth became silent in front of him. He gathered a powerful army and ruled over a number of countries, nations, prince, all of whom paid his tributaries. All of these paid tribute to him. Talk about a system. Is the United States still paying to a system? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Isn't the system ran by the Rothschilds? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't they fund all wars? Huh. Y'all catch this? I gave you definition for a reason. After that, he became ill and thought he was dying. So he summoned his most honored officers who had been brought up with him from you and divided his kingdom amongst them while he still was alive. And after Alexander had reigned 12 years, he died. Then these officers began to rule, each in his own place. Antioch returned in the 143rd year after conquering Egypt. Systems now being set up. And he went up against Israel and sent a large force to Jerusalem. He entered the sanctuary with arrogance, taking the golden altar. Our identity is now being taken from us. The light lampstand and all of the sanctuary's utensils. He also stripped the table for the presence bread, the cups, the drink offerings, the bowls, the golden censers, the curve, the crown, and gold decoration of the temple's front. Taking everything. Leaving you nothing. Giving your identity. Leaving nothing. I'm going to take all your money and leave you with nothing. He took the silver, the gold, and valuable vessels, and all well as the hidden treasures he discovered. He took them all and returned to his homeland. He carried out murderous acts and spoke with arrogance. Every community in Israel wept bitterly. Rulers and elders grown, maidens and young men fainted, and women's beauty faded. Impoverished. Every bridegroom took up the lament. She who sat in the bridal chamber was mourning. Even the land shook for its inhabitants. And all of the house of Jacob was clothed with shame. Two years later, the king sent to the cities of Judah a chief collector of tribute. He came to Jerusalem with a large force. And they stationed there a sinful people, lawless men, 
They strengthened their position. They stored up arms and food and collected the spoils of Jerusalem. They stored them there and became a great snap. Mm -hmm. To who? To the people. Mm -hmm. yeah. It became an, an ambush against the sanctuary. An evil adversary of Israel continually. You have to know that this system just didn't start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The purpose of God had me read this message to you. Let you know this system already already been in place. Mm -hmm. And it's already been coming up against his people. And there's a reason why. Mm -hmm. So you won't be so caught up with the system. henceforth. Because I'm going to take you to the Bible and read to you a plan and a prophecy that God had for us. On every side of the sanctuary, they shed innocent blood. They even defiled the sanctuary. Because of them, residents of Jerusalem fled. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. My, my, my. My she became a dwelling of strangers. Mm -hmm. We know it has been talked about, it has been preached about. Revelation chapter 3, verse that the, the verse 9, eh? Uh huh. Revelation 3 and 9. Go read it for yourself. That the Jews that are there now are not the real people of God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. What you are hearing is what transpired. But they are not the people. We are. Amen. Amen. God's chosen people. Yes, sir. Amen. Jerusalem fled. She became a dwelling of strangers. Mm. <laughs> she became strange to her offspring. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord, some of y'all probably don't want to go back home. Her children forsook her. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. The king then wrote to his entire kingdom. Look how evil these people are. Urging them to unite as one people. This is the system. They still write it to you today. They still write it to me today. They still write it to us today. Their sisters. If you're in a place of a impoverished community, still worship God. Still go to church and believe in Christ. But I'm still in a impoverished Community. I will write you a contract to become one with me that you will sell yourself over to my system. Mm -hmm. And that system includes homosexuality. Mm -hmm. That system includes uh, witchcraft. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. This is their system. Blood sacrifices of family members. Mm -hmm. This is their system. And he's still writing to us today. Urging them to unite as one people, abandon their individual tradition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The king commands were accepted by all Gentiles, but we understand the Gentiles were accepted. But many Israelites eagerly adopted this religion, <laughs> offering sacrifices to idols mm -hmm. and profaning the Sabbath. And the king sent messengers to Jerusalem and the cities of Judah, instructing them to follow strange customs. Y'all, some of you probably think when I say these things about Blood sacrifices and sacrifices family. You probably to you, you probably think all oh, that is happening. Uh -huh. It's happening. Uh -huh. To follow strange cup, to forbid burnt offerings, offerings, sacrifices, and drink offerings, offerings in the sanctuary. To profane Sabbaths and feasts. To defile the sanctuary. Now they ask them this to defile mm -hmm. the priests. To build altars and sacred precincts and shrines for idols. To sacrifice wine 
and unclean animals, and to leave the sanctuary and the priests unclean. They were to make themselves abominable by doing everything unclean and profane, forgetting the law and changing all the ordinances. And whoever does not obey the king's command shall perish. This is what they dealt with. He addressed his entire kingdom with these words. He also appointed inspectors over all the people in order that the cities of Judah. He didn't say the Gentiles. He said the cities of Judah offer sacrifice one by one. I'm going to make sure all y'all are going to do it. They offer sacrifice on the altar, which was upon the altar of burnt offering on the 25th day of the month. I would touch that 25th day of the month, but some of y'all would not even believe the 25th day of the month. Even though we represent Christ on the 7th 25th, which is the annual you also have a group of people who worship uh, Noel, St. Nick, which is Lucifer, when you go and study. Mm -hmm. Noel, St. Nick, is Lucifer. Yeah. And it's so amazing when God exposed this to me, and then I YouTube it, and there's other countries where they dress up not as a white man in a red suit, they dress up in a red suit with satanic masks on. <laughs> And his demons are with him. Mm. And they parade through the streets. And they go to the houses. On the 25th of the month. I'm going to just, some of y'all want to believe something. <laughs> According to the decree, women who had their children, that is, so you can look it up. Uh, they referred to as the winter solstice. Mm -hmm. mm. So, you can research it. It's considered on the 25th, the winter solstice. Mm -hmm. We'll look it up. Wow. According to the decree, women who had their children circumcised as well as their family. Listen to this now. According to the decree, this last paragraph I'm going to read you from this book. We're going to get into it. Oh, the scripture. Women who had their children circumcised, as well as their family, and those who circumcised them, were put to death. And infants were hung from their mother's neck. Many Israelites, on the other hand, remained firm in their resolve not to eat unclean food. They chose death. Or being defiled by food or profaning the holy covenant, they died, and God wrath fell heavily on Israel. So we're talking about the system. And we know that the system was the covenant was between Abraham and God through circumcision. But in the system today, Women and children are still being hung. Because under their system, you have a housing project for where the women and children to live. Someone would never leave that housing project because of the system. It didn't say men. Talking about the women and the children. Are hung up in the system of child support. I understand that system. I understand that system. See, that system is not meant for men to be a part of their children's life. I had to fight in that system to remain to be a father in my children's life. Three boys go to court, and all the boys go to her. I just paid in the system. Mm -hmm. See, the system don't recognize 
us men, and it wasn't recognized over here. All about hanging the women and the children so the children can turn against the fathers. Why weren't you here? Where were you at? The life was off. I paid the system. Why did the life here wasn't paid? Yeah. Y'all don't understand. The battle when you fight the system. System almost broke me. Yeah. Where, why aren't you getting this? I didn't pay the system. The system saw what I had before I saw it. Yeah. 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 But yet, I still had to do. And in my doing, I kept doing. And the individual kept going to the system every three years. And I kept doing it, so I had to stop doing because the system almost broke me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. mm. Women, stop getting hung up in the system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Let these fathers be a part of their children's lives. Mm -hmm. yeah. You better preach. Mm. Yeah. That's good. Don't get caught up in their system. Yeah. So comfortable. They put you in a home, but they tell you what you can't do. But you said no one can tell you what to do in your home. Yeah. That is their system. But glory be to God, y'all. God has a prophecy and a future for us in Him. <laughs> Let's get to that, baby. Glory be to God, because He has a prophecy and a future for us in Him. Go with me to First Peter, chapter one. I'm gonna go ahead and start reading for time's sake. I, Peter. Am an apostle on assignment by Jesus, the Messiah, writing to exiles scattered to the four winds. Who are you writing to? Did you? <laughs> oh, y'all bet. Catch this. Y'all bet. Peter said he's on assignment by Jesus, the Messiah, writing to exiles scattered to the four winds. Not one is missing. Not one forgotten, so you don't have to be stuck in their system. God the Father has his eye on each of you and has determined by the work of the Spirit to keep you obedient through the sacrifice of Jesus. Thank God for mercy and grace. May everything good from God be yours. Amen. Lord. Amen. A new life. Verse 3, will God, will a God we have, see this is supposed to excite you. You should be excited to hear this good news concerning the sacrifice, the atonement, what God done for us when we were low, we was out hope, we was in an apartment state. He has given us all things pertaining to life and godliness so we can have a victorious life through what Christ has done. Amen. You don't have to keep the mentality of carnality. You need to obtain the mind of Christ so now you can walk in the spiritual things of God. So now we can overcome the system. So now our family can see us. Let them know that, hey, I don't have to live here. I can come up out of there. There is greater for me. Yeah. I got new land and territory that I can take over. Amen. Because God has given it to me. Yeah. Yeah. What a God we have. Yeah. And how fortunate we are to have him. This father of our master Jesus. Remember, I'm reading out the message Bible. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus was raised from the dead, we've been given a brand new life and having everything to live for. Stop dying to the system. Begin to live for Christ. Amen. Including a future in heaven. And the future starts now. You don't have to wait till tomorrow. The future starts right now. Amen. Do you believe? Do you receive the new life that we now have in Christ Jesus? But your mind has, your, our mindset has to change. We can't keep operating saying that, oh, I see the bad, I'm going to chase the bad. Nah, your grace is sufficient for my every need. Grace. Your grace applies to everything that I'm looking for. Yes. Nah, I'm not about to grind. If I'm going to grind, it's going to be for Jesus Christ. Yes. That's what I'm going to grind for. That's what I'm going to live for. Yes. That's not my life. And that's what I'm going to be for. Yes. But you got to choose. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. You better preach. You got to choose. Yeah. You got to choose. <laughs> he said it starts right now mm -hmm. God is keeping careful watch over us 
and the future. You think you was alone? You thought you was going through this by yourself? He said, God has given kept, kept a watch over us and our future. future. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you worry about the system. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The day is coming when you will have it all. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> like healed and whole. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all better receive it. Yeah. He has already came. <laughs> yeah, See, yeah. I know how great this makes you feel, y'all. Better get excited. Uh, come on. Even though you have to put up with every kind of aggravation <laughs> in the meantime, in the meantime yeah. that means you are not your feeling. God already knew you were gonna face these circumstances. God already knew it's a problem to stay a problem that you're gonna be born in. But He wants to show you that He's the God that delivers. He's the God of prosperity. He's the God that heals. He's the God that restores. He's the God that owns the mountain of the cattle of a thousand hills. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Yes, sir. Jesus. You better preach. Are you excited about this, God? Amen. Yes. Thank you. My God. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I know how great this makes you feel, even though you have to put up with every kind of aggravation in the meantime. Pure gold put in the fire yeah. comes out of it pure. Pure. Yeah. Uh, 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 mm. My God. Genuine Lord. faith put through this suffering that we have to endure in the meantime <laughs> comes out pure genuine. Are you genuine? Yeah. yeah. Is yeah. your life biblical? Yeah. yeah. Who are you living for? Mm -hmm. Who are you working for? My Lord. Mm -hmm. What's your faith going to prove? Yeah. The day we see the Lord. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's not going to be your goal. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's going to be your faith walk. That's right. Yeah. That's it's going to be your purpose that's that's life. life. Yeah. That's what it's going to be about. Mm -hmm. What's yeah. your life going to prove? Yeah. What's your faith going to yeah. prove? Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, I can't yeah. stop mm -hmm. all of this. That's true. <laughs> When Jesus wraps, oh my goodness, when Jesus wraps this all up, it's your faith, it's your faith yeah. not your goal, yeah, that's your faith. that God will have on display in evidence of his victory. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Did you get that? Yeah. yeah. It's oh, your faith God. that God will have on display oh, yeah. in evidence of his victory. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you got to stay down there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord. Y'all, I'm excited. Amen. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Because I know I have a victory in him. That's right. Amen. So we have to live this life of faith. We have to walk out this life of faith. Yeah. Yeah. We have not been abandoned. No. Amen. Yeah. We have not been left alone. You've been Praise God. God. We are the candlestick. Yeah. yeah. We've been placed in the four corners of the world to bring light unto those who don't have. Amen. 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 That's why People we're here. say, well, how is it that you have hope huh. and you sing about a God in his faith? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Because you will find out that he knew you beforehand. Mm -hmm. Come on with it. And he put it inside of you right. beforehand yeah. when you was a baby. Yeah. You think they saw Nimbo song, but now God will communicate to each other through them because they didn't need a book. Yeah. You better preach now. My God, my God. You better preach now. Never left us. Never. Never forsook us. Never. Never. What God are you excited about? Amen. Oh, my God. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. When Jesus wraps this all up, it is your faith, not your goal, that God will have on display as evidence of his victory. You never saw him. Get your love, Jesus. Yeah, don't see him. Yeah. Mm. Oh, God. Yes, you yeah. 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 Uh -huh. This is thing that you heard today. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They didn't see Jesus. Uh -huh. you but they sung about it. Yeah. I ain't seen it. My God. But I sung about it. Yes, sir. I sung right. about the one who loved me. Yes, sir. Yeah. I sung about the one who chose me. Yeah. Yes, sir. What are you singing about today? My oh, God. God. My God. Huh. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, Thank you, Lord. You oh you because you kept on believing. Yeah. Yeah. You'll get what you're looking for. Yeah. Total salvation. Total salvation. Total salvation. Uh, Total salvation. Uh, Total salvation. Uh, yeah. Because you kept on believing. Yeah. Because you kept walking in faith. Yeah. Oh, 
the prophet who told us this was coming asked a lot of questions about this gift of life God had, God was preparing. They won't even know. They were asking, what are you asking the Holy Spirit? They were asking the Holy Spirit about this life that God was preparing for us. Yeah. And you think that we've been left alone. The Messiah Spirit let them in on some of it. The Messiah would experience suffering followed by glory. Mm. Isn't that the same life that we're living? Uh -huh. Suffering followed by glory. Our life is a life of Christ. Uh -huh. yes. We are continually transforming to his image. Yes. From suffering to glory. Yes. Are you going to see, receive yes. glory? Amen. For your suffering? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My Lord, Lord, have mercy. This is good. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. The Messiah spirit, that, that the Messiah would experience suffering followed by glory. They clamor to know who and when. Uh -huh. Us and now. Yeah. 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 All they were told was that they were serving you. Mm -hmm. Lord, have mercy. Mm -hmm. Ha! You. you who by order from heaven <laughs> have now heard of you for yourselves. Through the Holy Spirit, the message of those prophecies fulfilled. I told you the prophecy and God's future for us. Uh -huh. Do you realize how fortunate you are? Yes. Oh, you think you're in a bad place. <laughs> Angels would have given anything to be in on this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You think yeah. that you're in a bad place. The angels in heaven would have done anything to be in our position. My God. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. A future in God. Verse 13. So roll up your sleeves. Put your mind in gift. Be totally ready to receive the gift that's coming when Jesus arrives. He's at your door. He's at your heart. He's in every situation. He already been on the fall. The words are already finished. What do you need? Salvation is ours. Healing, prosperity, peace. Job, whatever you need. It's already there. It's already happened. Let your door. Yeah. Are you here? Let him in. Let him in. Yeah. Open the yeah. door. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Don't lazily slip by into those old grooves of evil. Just doing what you feel like doing. You didn't know any better then you do now. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. As obedient children, hmm. let yourself be pulled into a way of life shaped by God's light. Yeah. A life energetic and blazing with holiness. Yeah. God yeah. says, I am holy, you'll be holy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. You don't have to go You don't have to, to exchange holiness for darkness. Yeah. 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 See, God has a future for us. Yeah. He never lets us alone. He helps. He's a good father that way. Mm -hmm. But don't forget, he's also a responsible father. Mm -hmm. And won't let you get by with sloppy living. <laughs> Help <laughs> us. Help <laughs> us. <laughs> Help <laughs> us. <laughs> Y'all catch that? Yeah. That's what yeah. I'm to say. Your life is a journey you must travel with a deep consciousness of God. It may cause God, it calls God plenty. To get you out of that dead end, empty headed life you grew up in. Uh, wow. <laughs> what you say? I tell that. <laughs> he paid with Christ's sacred blood, you know. Mm -hmm. He died like an unblemished sacrificial lamb. Mm -hmm. But check this out. And this was no afterthought. Come on now. Lord, I think he's going to cry. This was no afterthought. He knew what he was doing. The whole time. Yeah. Even though it has only lately been determined that we are God's chosen people. Yeah. That we've been walking in his grace knowledge of Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Only lately. Only lately. Yeah. Only lately. <laughs> Yeah. But you're walking in. Yeah, yeah. You know about it. We're living in there, we're sharing. God always knew. 
We're not going by the system. And this was no afterthought, even though it was only lately, at the end of the ages, become public knowledge to us. Yeah. Because remember now, the system already knew. They already knew. They already knew. Yeah. They already knew. Yeah. They already knew. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. The system already knew. Uh huh. How bad were you all? Uh huh. But it's not just came public knowledge to you. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. But the system already knew. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, Lord. God always knew He was going to do this for you. It's because of his sacrifice, Messiah, whom God raised from the dead and glorified, that you trust God. That you know you have a future in God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now that you've been clean, now that you cleaned up your lives by following the truth, mm -hmm. which is Christ and Christ alone. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Love one another as your lives depend on it. We'll stop killing each other in the street. Yes, sir. On, yes, sir. We'll stop raising water bills. Yeah. Come on, we'll stop now. taking for our own community. Yeah. Come on, we'll now. take ourselves on the truth. Come on. We'll stop oh, taking the bag. Got to go and buy the Louis Vuitton purse and we can create bags in our own community. Yeah. yeah. Come on now. You better preach. <laughs> you just better preach here. My God. Love one another as if your lives depended on it. Your new life is not like your old life. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Your old birth came from mortal sperm. Uh -huh. Come on, guys. Mm -hmm. Your new birth comes from God's living word. Yeah. Uh -huh. Just think, a life conceived by God himself. No matter anyone with our blood, life conceived by God himself. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, glory. That's why the prophet said, the old life hmm. is a grass life. Is beauty as short lived as wild flowers. Grass dries up, flowers droop. God's word goes on and on forever. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is the word that conceives life in you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm going to just read through this last scripture, five more minutes, and I'm going to shut it down. Because I want you to hear this. This is, I want you to get this. Uh, go with me to 2 Timothy you, chapter 3. You, verse 10 through 17. This is the message. Thank you, Lord. The title says, it says, keep the message alive. Mm -hmm. You've been a good apprentice to me. A part of my teaching a part of my doctrine is what he's saying. Mm -hmm. My manner of life, my direction, my conduct, my code of living, the life that I live before other people, faith, steadiness, love, patience, trouble, suffering, suffering along with me in all the grief I have put up with in Antioch. Mm -hmm. mm. It <laughs> Enochum and Lystra and also well know that God rescued me. Anyone who wants to live out for Christ, who won't live all out for Christ, is in for a lot of trouble. There's no getting around it. Unscrupulous con men will continue to exploit the faith. The faith is what God's going to look at. They are as deceived as the people they lead astray. They know who we are. Mm -hmm. The people that follow them are the ones who are truly deceived. Because they won't be able to get on the spaceship with them trying to fly out. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. To try to get to. They're going to leave them there. Thank you for, your, for following our deception. But you can't go with us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not enough money. But they ain't going to be able to go nowhere. Come on. Come on. I ain't gonna touch that. I'm not gonna touch that. I'm not gonna touch that. Oh my goodness. Thank you. They are as deceived as the people they leave astray. As long as they are out of there, Lord have mercy, things can only get worse. But don't let it phase you. Don't let the system phase you. 
Think of what you learn in this church. Christ and Christ alone. Amen. Who we are as God chose the people. Amen. The life that he has for us. And believe. Sure of the integrity of your teachers. We all stand before you. Teaching this gospel of grace. Of God's American faith. Why? You took in the sacred scriptures with your mother's milk. <clears throat> These scriptures were never given to you by no Caucasian. Mm -hmm. These scriptures were always given to us from God as his chosen people. Amen. It's embedded inside our DNA. Mm -hmm. Amen. So much that when you took your mother's milk, you were taking in scripture. Come mm. on now. Mm. My you Lord. better preach. There's nothing like mm. the written word of God for showing you the way of salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. Every part of scripture is breathed and useful one, one way or another. Showing us truth. Exposing our rebellion. Mm -hmm. Correcting our mistakes. Yes. Training us to live God's way. Mm. Through the word, we are put together and shaped for the task God has for us. Yes. Through the word, he'll bring us together as a community. Yes. And we'll work together. Yes. We'll yes. trust one another. Yes. And we'll live out this life. Yes. And we'll yes. tell our children. Yes. And our children will tell their children. Mm -hmm. And their children will tell their children. Thank you. And it will go on forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you all Amen. for joining today. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I pray that that word bless you, Father. I thank you for that word. I thank you that it is seed and water. And that, once again, you call the growth to occur in each of our lives. Who ready to give? Amen. 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 <laughs> the Lord just gave. Are you ready to sow into this word? Who is ready to give? Thank you, Father. If you're out there on social media, our ways to give it, you also can see it on the uh, on the live video. PayPal, Spirit and True Christian Center at gmail.com. All one word. PayPal, Spirit and True Christian Center at gmail.com. Cash out, dollar sign, Spirit and True CC. Cash out, dollar sign, Spirit and True CC. Church app, text, hashtag STCC. That's hashtag STCC 254244. Alright, you got the sheet off? Amen. Are they going to arrive for that? Do we want to pay for this? Do we want to pay for this? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Oh, you see how they are, baby. Come on, we're we excited to sow into God this morning. Hey. Father, we thank you that this seed we sow yes. is pressed down and running over. Father, we thank you that there's no lack in our life. There's no sickness in our life. There's no disease in our life. Father, we thank you that we are whole, we are wealthy, and we are wise in Christ Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. amen.